A new study has revealed that three quarters of companies do not take on apprentices. That's at a time when over 80,000 young people in New Zealand aren't in work, education or training. Here's what Social Development Minister Paula Bennett says the government is doing to reduce that number. We've got a bill going through the House at the moment that's about really addressing those 16 and 17 year olds that we're most concerned about um, and we're going to be really wrapping services around them. They're not going to get any money from work and income unless they're in education and training. We're giving them all this pastoral support around them. So is that the right approach? Our next guest is calling for more support to be given to companies to take on apprentices. Competence General Manager Fiona Kingsford joins me now. Let's talk about apprenticeships first. It feels like they've fallen a little bit out of fashion. Uh, what relevance do they have? Are they one of the keys to getting more New Zealand young people in employment? Absolutely, they absolutely are. A, a trade qualification sets a young person up for, for a lifetime. They can go anywhere in New Zealand, anywhere in the world, um, start their own businesses, manage a company. So it's um, a significant input into the youth unemployment issue, we believe. So then who do you have to convince about these apprenticeships? Is it business owners? Is it the young people themselves? Is it the government to do more? Um, it's probably a combination of all. I think we've got a lot of young people that are interested in it. The government is investing in um, schools, into secondary schools around uh, trades academies, uh, vocational education. That's great, but we don't have enough employers employing these young people into apprenticeships, only 25%. Okay, so when Paula Bennett's talking about wrapping services around and pastor pastoral support, is she talking about getting young people into apprenticeships? Uh, she may be, that they may be part of it. Uh, I think the issue we've got is when we look at the subsidies that have been made available to date by the government, they come with strings attached. So these uh, uh, funds are going to people that are maybe long term unemployed or have numeracy and literacy issues and for some employers that's just one hurdle too many. Um, what we need is, is young people that are motivated and want to get into to, to trades training. So you've got businesses out there, 25% of them are taking on apprenticeships. Of the other group, the people not doing it, how many of them are ready and capable to take apprentice apprentices? Yes, so we've got probably two thirds of, of New Zealand, small, medium sized enterprises. They, they don't employ tradespeople, so it's difficult to train, uh, train up an apprentice when they don't have a um, skilled person there. There's another 25 to 30% that can. They do have the tradespeople and the infrastructure in place uh, with the right support uh, to get people through uh, an apprenticeship. So what does that support look like? If it's not funding from the government, which as you say comes with strings, what yes. kind of support do they get? So the, the research that Competence did, it was interesting. They, they are looking for help with recruitment, finding a good pool of, of good young candidates that are keen and eager, uh, and management support. So how to support these young people in the workplace when they're training them, the support and the advice to coach them through um, their apprenticeship training. Is this something that you think you could get the government interested in being involved in? Absolutely and I mean the government does support apprenticeships which is great, I just think that um, some of the support needs to go and to be thought more about the management of the employer as well as the learner and the, the apprentice. Alright Fiona Kingsford, Competence General Manager, thanks for joining Breakfast. Thank you.